Washington. Vanessa Guillen's family is struggling to come to terms with a plea agreement that was accepted by the lone person charged in connection to her death. In a last minute court hearing this afternoon, Cecily Aguilar pleaded guilty to four of the 11 counts against her. The family was shocked by the news and says the fight for justice is now far from over. Six News anchor Bailey Bates joins us now live in studio with what we know about the plea agreement and more reaction from the family. Bailey, this was kind of a surprise today. Absolutely, Chris and Lindsay. After two and a half years, this is just another step toward justice for Vanessa and the Guillen family, but the journey isn't over. After what seems like endless battles in the federal courthouse, it's hard for Vanessa Guillen's sister, Myra Guillen, to believe how quickly things can change. Very uh, taken back by her decision today. I mean, it, 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 there's still a lot of mixed emotions. I mean, it's both anger and frustration. The one person charged in connection to Vanessa's gruesome death, Cecily Aguilar, took a plea deal and no longer will face a jury trial. She pleaded guilty to one count of accessory to murder after the fact and three counts of false statement or representation. Aguilar could face up to 30 years in prison as well as three years of supervised release and a $1 million fine. Vanessa's mom, Gloria Guillen, says that's not justice for her daughter or family. She says she wants Aguilar to face a life sentence for taking her innocent daughter. As for Myra, justice is hard to describe, but it gives her some hope. I comfort myself in knowing that she'll be locked up for most of the rest of her life, and um, I hope she has time to sit down and think about what it is that she did and how she impacted our life. The Guillens have comfort in knowing Aguilar is admitting to her crimes, but they know there's still lots in limbo with time between the plea agreement and sentencing. Anything could happen. I mean, she could take back what she said, but definitely it's not a closed case until the day of sentencing. And they're not done fighting. <laughs> As Gloria says, it doesn't end here. Aguilar's sentencing hearing won't be set for at least another 90 days, so the Guillen say it will be hard to be patient until then as justice still lingers. Guys. Yeah, and that report today was all done up in Waco. Good job today, Bailey. Thank you.